Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. This is Steve. Today we're going to show you how to clean a Pache H airbrush. Now this is uh, kind of uh, an oldie but goodie, probably 19, around 1977 is when this one came out. But they're still out there and they're still readily available. This is probably one of the easiest airbrushes to clean out there on the market. So if you're looking at spraying uh, primers or metallics, this is probably a good one for that because it's just so easy to clean. So we're going to take you through the process and we'll clean it up. Okay, so here I have my handy dandy complete airbrush maintenance kit from Badger. And that's readily available at webairbrushes.com. And there's lots included with it. But what you'll need with the uh, airbrush, you'll need at least the Allen wrench to take it apart. And that usually comes with the airbrush. We'll have some scrub brushes here. Make sure you use the nylon type and not the metal type. Um, there is a wrench here also. Don't think I'll need to use the wrench. We also have with this Pache airbrush, it came with a spare needle. In this case, it came with a, a point one and a, point, a number one needle and a number three needle. The number three needle is actually installed in this already, and the number one is uh, sitting here. So you have the needle, complete set of the needle here. Other items you'll need are some earbuds or Q-tips. I like using these fine ones, like you can get from uh, Tamaya and you can use some paper towels um, the, you can use the Badger needle juice and that's mainly for the longer needles but it could be used on this too also you have, they also supply in the kit some multi-purpose cleaning media um, the other option with the cleaning media too is you can go to the Styrene Syndicate Gilbert over there come up with his own formula. We call it Jesus Juice and I have that readily available. I'm not going to go over the recipe here but go to uh, Styrene Syndicate YouTube and he has a video on how to make the Jesus Juice. You could also use the Testers Universal Acrylic Thinner and you can also for those who are watching from the UK use Ultimate Product uh, Airbrush Cleaner. I highly recommend that too. When you, if you're over there, it's really readily, re easily available over there and I highly recommend the Ultimate Airbrush Cleaner. So the first thing that we have to do is uh, take this airbrush apart. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this airbrush apart. Like I said, there is a Allen hook up here on the bottom. Simply take and loosen it, the Allen head and you don't have to take it out all the way and then simply screw down the needle screw it up while you're pulling the needle backwards here on the on the end here And there we go. So as you can see, the there's a seal in here. And the opening to the needle there, and it's got a little bit of paint on there. A little dirty, along with the inside there. The other part we're going to take apart is this uh, end piece. and that should just unscrew and there's also a seal on that too it's pretty clean that I received this airbrush used so I'm just doing the first clean job on it after receiving it in the mail and 
These might be enamel, so I might have to go a little aggressive with the thinners. So you can see a little Teflon washer came off and some more threads came off. Like a thing from Tamiya. So it looks like enamel was shot through this. Yep. Okay, so you might want to just use a little bit of sandpaper and just kind of lightly, because this has been caked on for so many years, I'm guessing. It's a good idea that I just kind of lightly sand off any of the paint residue. Okay, make sure we put the threads on and the washer. And then we'll take put the end piece on here. I've just snapped in place after it threaded on so far. Take the needle housing, slide it in. We just we can lock this down. And there you have it. We have a clean airbrush.